hi guys and welcome to my channel um this is my first video so hi i hope you stick around and please let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see if you find this helpful if you want to know more just leave a comment or follow me on instagram um i'll put the thing down below and you can just message me on there today i thought i would tell you guys about FES or functional electrical stimulation. You may have heard of this before or of TEN. It's the same machine that like, does both. I'll also tell you guys why I use this and why I find it helpful as a quadriplegic. Usually when I put this on my friends they freak out but I think it, it feels quite cool. I just like it turns your muscle on. Basically how it works is, in my understanding at least, your muscles turn on from electricity or like electrical signals which comes from your brain down your spinal cord and then when it gets to your muscle it like makes the muscle contract. Whereas when you have a spinal cord injury or stuff like that anyway, um, I'm not sure if it works with brain injury people. If you know, let me know because I'd be interested to know that. But yeah, so when the messages can't get to your muscle because it's interrupted by like the injury site or like scar tissue and stuff like that, when you put the electrode on the muscle, like on your skin, and it goes like straight to the muscle, the electrical signal comes from here and it makes the muscle contract straight from there so you can't control it by thinking. And you can't con you can just control it by the machine. So it's really, really good for like when you have atrophied muscles or if yeah, bone density and things like that, because your bone density increases when you have muscles contracting. I use FES because it really helps with blood flow, can help a lot with pain because um like I have a lot of feeling now and I can't just move my muscles when I want to, so when it gets the muscle moving it helps a lot with pain as well. It can help with your skin health because of the blood flow obviously. So muscle strength, um, muscle endurance as well if you like and keep your muscle going. It's like a workout without having to think about it. What else? It says here do not use on your face. So don't use it on your face. Like I have a really good response to like outside input, so whether it is FES or like like touch on your muscle, things like that. I know not everyone responds like that, but I would encourage you to give it a go if you've had an injury and you're dealing with paralysis or yeah, if you wanted to just have a go and you don't have an injury. Um, can visit me and I'll shock you if you'd like. I've used this thing so so much over the last five five and a half years. Um, comes in this bag it's called a Neurotrack yeah Neurotrack Rehab. I got this from my physio I think it was around two or three hundred dollars but I've honestly used it so, so much. Also comes with this button, so you can like turn it on or off when you want to. Otherwise, if you don't have the button connected, it just goes on with a timer or just stays on until you like turn it off later. So it comes with two cables, so you can do two muscle groups at the same time. Change the programs. So this one comes with about 15 preset programs and then you can also change them. So you can change the frequency, you can change the... I forgot what the thing it's called. Yeah, when you go like up with the amount of stim, it just like makes it stronger and stronger. And I also have heaps of different size electrodes. I have these tiny electrodes which I really use for hand muscles. Um, I don't use them very often because they're too little, you can't really um, get much muscle going. 
before I've used this so so much um, for about six months every time the physio came we would put like bigger like quite big electrodes on my quads and he would have the buttons so like every time I was trying to stand up he'd push the button and it like give me a little boost and that way I learned how to stand up from like, almost in the chair position that took so long but now like my brain like learned to do it and it kind of, yeah, made the muscles stronger as well. So, the first time I used this, well, I didn't use it, someone else used it on my triceps, because I had no tricep movement um, when I first got injured, and then I thought I was going to put a stick in the muscle, and then I decided, okay, we'll try to stim them, see what comes back, and because I have heaps of nerve pain in my right arm, I just like burst out into your side straight away, and it was like barely even on. I'll show you what it does to my fingers. Just trying to get these electrodes on the cable. Quad hands are not easy. I really am tempted to use my teeth, but I don't want them to get a shock. <laughs> my favourite thing to stim is my abs. And my calves, I think. But my abs. It like helps me breathe a lot. So if I'm trying to stand or just sitting and it's really hot, it gets really hard to breathe. And then this turns my abs on. It like I don't know I don't know why. It just helps me breathe a lot. Almost got it. Usually I put the black one closest to my fingers. Just on on the back of my arm here. And then I put the red one a few centimeters away from that towards my elbow, like on the top. Just like that. And then milliamps is what it goes up with. I usually go up to like 15 or 20 to get it to really move. It's up to five, ten. You can see my hand going. It feels so weird. It's twelve. Wow, it's real strong today. And then it goes off. This one's programmed to go on for like five seconds and then off, off for a few seconds as well. And there it comes back on. So I can't actually move my hand like that. It's just the electricity stuff that um, makes it move, which is really cool. Can like give you a high five, like turn it up a little bit more. See if I can show you how far it goes. I guess my muscles are quite tight in here. It doesn't straighten all the way. And also, if you move around the electrodes, it will move how your muscles react because it will get like other little muscles or other parts of the muscle at least. I mostly use this on my abs and on my calf muscles when I'm trying to stand. 
because I find it really helps my balance. Usually I can't really let go at all, but if I have my calves and my abs stimmed, it lets me balance for a couple of seconds. Um, yeah. Also, with this machine, you can have it on the tent setting, which, like, the muscle doesn't actually contract. It's just, like, it kind of looks like it's jiggling or there's something under your skin moving around. It just kind of relaxes the muscle. So if you have a lot of pain or... I know women when they're having babies and they're in labour they can use that as well and they find that kind of helpful. There's really so much technology out there um, but this is something I've actually used a lot and I could definitely recommend. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up <laughs> and yeah, please subscribe and let me know in the comments what other things you'd like to see. I'll see you for the next video. Hope you have a great day.